वेलकम टू सिलीनियम इन लास्ट सेशन एक्सप्लेन अबाउट सिलीनियम इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट एंड सिलीनियम आईडी नाउ द टॉपिक इज सिलीनियम कॉन्फ़िगरेशन विद जावा सिलीनियम कॉन्फ़िगरेशन विद जावा हाउ टू कॉन्फ़िगर सिलीनियम how to configure selenium so to configure selenium first of all we should have install java in our machine first we have to install java suppose if in your machine java 7 is available no problem you can use java 7 otherwise you can install latest one java 8 you can install java 8 once you install java in your machine it will create two folders jdk and jri it will create two folders jdk and jri jdk means java development kit jri means java runtime environment so once we install java by default in every machine it is available c program files it creates one folder java in that these two files are available if these two are available in your machine then java is installed successfully suppose if it is not there in your machine i will use some url or you can google it in that you can download jdk file you can install it first one is java should be installed second one in case of the automation we have to write the scripts so we have to write the scripts means we need some editor editors are different different editors are there some edit place notepad netbeans intellis some different different are there. in our selenium we are using eclipse so eclipse is an editor where it is responsible to write the program so it is also you can google it you can download the eclipse in eclipse also there are different different versions are there kepler galileo luna indigo mars latest version is neon before this mars luna kepler indigo like that multiple versions are there latest one is neon is the latest one previous one is mars now i am using the mars version i am using that mars version so eclipse is an editor where we have to write the programs the main third file is selenium server stand alone selenium server stand alone jar file it is nothing but our main selenium okay i am using here 2.53.1. jar file last week they released the selenium 3 also presently we are working with selenium 2 there are two versions are there one and two last one they are given selenium 3 beta version they are not released the complete version presently we are using 2.53.1 jar file jar is nothing but java archive file the collection of all dot class files are available so it is the main selenium file it is nothing but the combination of rc web driver and grid all the dot class files are available in that jar file so it is the main selenium file so we can download this jar file i will show the urls websites and everything so we first install java in our machine after that eclipse is an editor where we have to write the programs after that this is the selenium main file the version is 2.53.1 jar file it is the main selenium file the combination of rc web driver grid files are available jar is nothing but the collection of dot class files are available in that jar file we have to configure all these three then selenium tool is ready the tool is ready when we have to configure java eclipse and this jar file so now i will explain how to configure java okay so to configure 
selenium with java first we have to install java you go for either 7 or latest one preferable any time latest one is preferable one java 8 in that compulsory it should have jdk and jre jdk means java development kit and jre means java runtime environment so if these two are available then java is installed successfully now see observe in my machine every machine c program files there is one folder is there java in this i have jdk is there jre i am using 1.8 means java 8 version it is here so if this jdk jre is available java is installed successfully maybe in your machine it is not there okay i will give the urls or you can google it by using the google you can find out jdk files these are all the urls for downloads this is direct download for the jdk open this url into any browser or else you can google it open url in this there is one jdk file is available jdk file is available we net some slow yes in this url here observe jdk download is there click on this jdk download click on this jdk download in this there are different different versions are there java sc means standard edition 8 version first you can click on this accept license agreement and you can observe here there are so many exe files are available tar files are available jdx files multiple files are there based on your system bit you can download suppose if your system bit is 32 bit you can download this one windows i586.exe file if your system bit is 32 you can download i586 if your system bit is 64 you can download jdk windows x64.exe based on your system operating system if it is a linux mac solaris based on your system you can download my machine is windows operating system 64 bit you can click on it after that it is available in downloads go to downloads this is jdk exe file once you download it is an executable file it is an executable file you can double click it and follow the instructions finish the installation of the jdk once it is installed successfully you can check it how to check it go to C program files it creates one Java folder under Java these two are available Java is installed successfully in our machine second one Eclipse it is an editor where we have to write the programs it is an editor where we have to write the program same you can go to the google you can search for eclipse and download or else this is direct url for the eclipse copy open into any url the 
the latest version is eclipse neon this is the neon version there are different different versions are there mars galileo kepler indigo luna the latest one is neon version you can download it it will download a zip file after that you can extract copy paste into any drive in my machine d folder i can extract here now observe eclipse folder is created open it this is the related files to the eclipse this is main executable file so eclipse is an editor where it is responsible to write the programs third one this is the main thing selenium server stand alone here i am using 2.53.1. jar file 2.53.1. jar jar means java archive file what is this file it is the selenium where it combination of rc web driver and great they can release in last week selenium 3 also beta version they are given it's not complete version okay so presently we are using 2.53.1 jar file how to download it go to seleniumhq.org docs.seleniumhq.org in that click on downloads here you can observe they are given 3.00 beta 2 version okay so it is not complete version so for that you can download 2.53.1 this is direct url to download different different jar files this is the url click it in that you can observe there are so many jar files are there 2.39 40 41 42 43 multiple are the latest one is 2.53 2.53.1 jar file this is beta 1 beta 2 they are not given complete version presently i am using 2.53.1 jar file once you download it don't extract that it is not a rar file it is a jar file once you download it is available in download selenium server stand alone 2.53 don't extract this file what i am doing is here in my machine i am created one empty folder in my d drive that file name is library you also create one library or lib folder any folder either it is a d drive or e drive f drive anywhere you can create one empty folder library or lib in that you can copy paste this jar file observe already in my machine d folder already created one library folder in that some files are available you can see after later on we will download all this initially 52 dot 53, 53 dot jar file this is the latest one you also download that jar file create one empty folder in the d drive or e drive f drive anywhere with the name lib or library i am create a library folder in this jar file is available now see in my machine java is available and in my machine eclipse is available jar file is available all are available so first you can download all these files after that steps to configure selenium with java so listen carefully how to configure selenium with java first go to eclipse where you copy paste in that go to that folder in this folder eclipse.exe this is the main file executable file this is the executable file double click on this blue icon double click on this you can observe i am using the mars version latest one is neon observe 
here i am using mars version latest one is neon you can use any version now see by default in workspace it display some path it display some path if you want to use it you can use the same path otherwise you can update it so first of all what is your workspace workspace is nothing but eclipse stores your projects in a folder called as a workspace daily we have to write the programs we are doing one project where we have to store it that project stores folder is nothing but our workspace means choose a workspace folder to use for this session for this session programs all are available in this workspace here you can observe workspace 10th august 11:30 am this is one workspace in that some programs are available now today i am configuring it okay so i am creating one workspace with the name the today's date is 23rd august now the time is 230 so my workspace is this is my workspace in d folder it will create one folder with workspace under 23rd august 230 pm so every day whatever programs i am written all will store in this workspace that is called as a workspace click on okay now go to d folder see these are all the my workspaces previous workspaces today my workspace is workspace 23rd august 230 pm under this folder all the programs we will save that is workspace now this is an eclipse here to open an editor in top right corner workbench is available there click on this workbench click on workbench it is an editor it is an editor here it is a project or package explorer it is an editor right side window so in this first step i want to create a project i want to create a project how to create a project go to file click on new select the project we are using selenium with java so expand java select java project click on next it is asking project name give any project name so what are the project you are working give your project name either it is a gmail or yahoo mail or spicejet whatever it is here in this session i am able to automate multiple web applications so my project name is selenium automation that is my project name after that click on finish there's perspective do you want to open this java perspective or java w anything you can open it click on s yes. in left side observe in package explorer selenium automation project is created in left side selenium automation project is created you can expand it it's create one empty folder src src means source code that is the first step how to create a project second step i want to add this jar file why because in this jar file all the dot class files are available it is the main selenium file in this all rc web driver grid files are available where this file is available it is available in d library so it is some external file in external folder it is available i want to add this into eclipse how to add any jar file to the eclipse same process see right click on jre system libraries go to the build path configure build path in this window click on add external jars click on add external jars where is jar file in library selenium server stand alone jar file select it click on apply click on okay now you can observe under jre system libraries reference libraries are there expand it 
yes. Selenium Server Standalone Jar File is available. That version 2.53.1. That location is D library. That is the second one. How to add a jar file to the Eclipse? Third one. I want to configure with Java. I want to configure with Java. Once we install Java, JDK jar are there. In that JDK jar in bin folder, java.exe file is available. Observe C program files under Java under JRE. In bin folder, java.exe file is there. I want to add this java.exe file into this Eclipse. How to go to the run menu? Last option external tools in that external tools configurations. In left side window, there is a program is there. Double click on this program. Double click on this program. It is asking three parameters. First one is location, second one is working directory, third one is arguments. So, first location is Java location where that java.exe file is available. So, how to get that location? Click on browse file systems. Where is available Java? C program files under Java folder under JRE JDK anything go to bin java.exe file. See any mission this is the common path. C program files Java JRE bin java.exe. Second argument working directory. Working directory means where is your jar file in your machine? In my machine, jar file is available in D library. In my machine, this jar file is available in D library. So, give this path. Maybe in your machine, if it is in desktop, give that path. If it is in E folder, give that path. If it is in F folder, wherever it is available, give that path. How to get the path? Again, click on browse file system set working directory click on browse file systems expand my computer hmm. expand the d drive select that folder where is the jar file is available library click on ok arguments how to give arguments here you can give hyphen jar give one space give that complete file name that selenium server standalone 2.53 complete file name so, that is why I am copying all the letters, copy it, paste here, that is the arguments. So, this is three arguments. First one is java.exe file, second one where is the jar file, the directory, third one that jar file, give hyphen jar one space complete file name, click on apply, click on run. Once we can click on is it successfully configured? Configuration is successfully done or not? How to find out? Now, in Eclipse, in console, it will give one message. Selenium server is up and running. Where it is running? By default, the Selenium will run on 4444C. The port number is 4444. Whenever the server is running on 4444, then only configuration is successfully done then only we can use this tool. Otherwise, in console itself, it gives the error message, unable to access the jar file, unable to find the class path, unable to find some JRE JDK, some error it will gives in the console. Whenever it is running on 4444, then configuration is successfully done. That is, how to configure Selenium with Java. This is the process to configure with Java. So, once configuration is successfully completed, once the configuration is successfully completed, we have to write the RC programs. You have to write RC programs. 